a very short video today. I've been asked about um, how we can stop the user closing the order form before it's been printed. The way we're going to be doing this is using some VBA on both of our buttons here, the print order button and the close order button. First off, so we've got some data in our form. I'm going to put some a sale in. There we go. So Bill Huggins is going to be buying these items. So the data's in the form. What we want is on our close order button, if it's clicked, we want to send the user a message saying that they must print the customer orders, uh, the customer's order first. So we've got a message box popping up on that close order. But we don't want that to happen all the time. We only want that to happen if this print order button hasn't been clicked first. So I'll show you what the code looks like. So on the print order button, we've got an on click event. And the VBA that's running is it's going to be opening the query to get the values from the form and then opening the report. But then we've got this extra little bit of code down here that says set temp var or set temporary variable. I've named this variable printed and the value that I've set it to is y in inverted commas. If I don't put it in inverted commas, it's expecting um, some code rather than just a, a character, a char. So here we are. So it's going to run through this macro when the button's pressed. It's going to pretty much show the report with the data in and then set a temporary variable to yes to say that the print button's been clicked. On the other button, the close order button, the first job that that's going to do is going to do an if statement. So it's going to check the value of the temporary variable. So it says in here in square brackets, temp vars exclamation mark printed because that's the name of the variable. And it's going to say if it's set to Y, then it's quite happy for the uh, order to be closed. So we can save the record and go to a new record. But it's also clearing out the Y value from the temporary variable and setting it to nothing. The other side of this if then else statement says this is the message box. If this is not set to Y, meaning that the print button hasn't been clicked, it's going to give this message to say that the order must be printed first. And then we're ending the if statement. So very simple bit of code using the temp var part of the macro on buttons. And we'll just see it working again. So clicking the close order, it brings up the message box. But once the print order button's been clicked and we go back to the form, the message box doesn't appear and the form goes back to a new record waiting for more data input. So it's pretty simple. Give it a go.